the sexiest and kick-ass most zombie that we've seen here. So what we're going to do, we're going to let you go see the movie. Afterwards, we're going to bust ass over to the Sirius Studios, where you are going to be on the radio with Dee Snyder. Oh my God! And Josh Mangan, who's the DJ from Heart Attack, and we're going to set you up with some good prizes. So, so yeah! Thank you! Oh, we got here. We got Vince, Kalora. Vince? Oh, we turn, turn Vince's mic on, Kara, if you could. And, and we got uh, Magali. Is it Magali? Magali. Magali. Yes. Okay, Magali. Oh, where are you from, Magali? New York. Oh, you got an accent. What is My that? My parents Brazilian. Yeah. Sapatura. Yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome. Max Cavalera. <laughs> Uh oh, we got a little Latino body ah, yeah, going on here. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, okay, so um, you guys are pretty fucked up, and uh, were you a part of the zombie walk? Yep. Yes. What? Uh, okay. What? Ex explain to the people listening what was going on down down there, Vince. All right. I had a great time doing a zombie walk at uh, three years three years ago for Dawn of the Dead. So well, we what is a zombie again. walk? It's just as many people as you can get meeting up in a public place, dressed kind of like this, mongering around, kind of like that. You do the walk, you do the lumbering? Oh yeah, yeah, there was total lumbering, and then there were some rage zombies, so kind of running around doing the Oh, that's a new thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Max would have a problem with that. So, um, okay, so now there's rage zombies now. Rage, rage zombies. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're doing. Totally. <laughs> okay, is there, are the rage zombies uh, fucking it up for everybody else, uh, Megany? No, we still we still did our thing out there. Yeah. People going after buses. People going after the tour bus. Wow, man, yeah, that's we, we, we had four or five tour buses. Why did you speak them all? God, I mean, run! Yeah. Awesome. That's fucking like cool. Why wasn't I there? We were here, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! So, so how many people approximately were there? I'm guessing about seventy-five. Is that the, seventy-five uh, zombies? Yeah. That's, that's enough to stop a bus. Yeah, it is. Where it makes some old people from Arkansas real nervous. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we, we, had, we had a fight almost break out. That was kind of crazy. A bunch of whoa, thuggy whoa, whoa. guys didn't like the zombie guys. It was kind of like West Side Story. Oh, a second. A bunch of what you guys? Thuggy guys. Thug oh, thuggy they, guys. Oh, some, some gangsters? Type? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they didn't like the they zombies. They were very offended by the zombie thing. And they, and so they were getting a little, got a little physical? Uh, no, you know, it almost got physical. It was just this tension. And uh, it was with the rage zombies, so I don't really care. Now, was there any... Oh, it was the rage zombies. <laughs> See, there's segregation among the zombie community. This is very funny. I wonder what Max Brooks would have to say. You know what Max Brooks is, Jose? No. Max Brooks wrote the book, The, uh, the Zombie Survival Guide. Have you ever heard, that? Have you heard about that book? It's vaguely. It's like a textbook on how to survive. And he just finished a book called World War Z, which was a, it was a bidding war they're making a movie out of it. Oh, cool. Oh. And this guy, is he's actually Mel Brooks' son. But he is like the foremost authority on zombies. But zombies are slow, they're lumbering, and they, they eat flesh, and they take forever to actually... They, they can just be pieces of them and still surviving. Okay? But I don't think he'd be crazy about the rage zombies. Yeah, you know, they didn't bother me. I, th I think that when you've got 75 lumbering zombies, you need some of the rage zombies to kind of keep things going because everybody's just kind of like, oh, brains. And then the rage guys. Oh, you're doing the brains out. thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, we, yes. had, we had brains we were going, going after people in, a, um, in, the, in the park. <laughs> I actually had a couple of people running away from me. Which I have no idea why. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's wearing a, a, a bikini. Is that that's her skin, right? Yes, it is. I mean, she's wearing a, a, a black like bikini with like spider webs on her nipples and, and, and spiders. And yeah, yeah, she's got, yeah, you're right. Bloodied that, up. Thank you for describing this. Yeah, yeah, she's chained up, so it's not. I would freak out, man. Looks like she has, looks like she has torn flesh. Some of the She's got chains, right? like, yes. like, like glued all over to Latex, her legs. Latex, bloods, you know, the work. She gets it. Well, you were one of the horror fest girls. Yes, I was. So some of you may have wow. seen uh, Magali um, on the on the Fangoria on the Chainsaw Awards. Were you there? Yes. Yes. And we had you on the show. Actually, you were here with. Uh, you came up here with Courtney. With Courtney Solomon. There was a whole. Did you hear the the horror fest girls thing? They had this whole competition going on nationally. Remember that seven films to die for? Eight you films. hear about it? Eight, Eight films. films to die for. They kept adding films. They were all. <laughs> yeah. You didn't see that thing? It was like no, a I'm festival. Just, I'm thing? just looking at her. I'm just looking. I'm just trying to see what's real and what's not and everything. Now you know why they. It's all real. 
they they oh, shipped man. her out of Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't leave voluntarily. So so Vince was how they organize? Oh, you are the beautiful. Yep. I was just saying, how they organize something like this? I put up a website, zombienyc.com, posted it on my MySpace, uh, Craigslist, and that was it. People just picked it up from there. Now, did you uh, did you do this in coordination with 28 Weeks Later, or you just no? I just did it as, as an excuse. Okay. That was my excuse to do this. Was That's awesome. Weeks later did, they, did they yeah. call and thank you or anything? Did they send no, you a no. letter? <laughs> no, but you guys were awesome. You guys sent people down. Did you get now? Was were any, were any police around? You know. Okay, so I had to actually go to a precinct and register. Because right. you're gathering. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. it, no, it turns out I didn't need a, I didn't need a, what do you call it, a permit? They had actually just said, listen, we request you come in and we take your picture. So I'm sorry, I just need to back this up because I have to, you know, listeners want details. Did you contact them and say, hey, I'm doing this thing, I want well, to make you aware? what I did was I contacted 311 first to find out, do I need any permit? What's, What's 311? That's the city hotline. Oh, okay, okay. Where some like intern looks at a law book for you. Or you can call them quit smoking cigarettes or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get help. Quit smoking. Stop smoking cigarettes. Call 311. Or set up a zombie one. Or set up a zombie one. All right, so you call 311. <laughs> call 311. And I said, hey, listen, I'm, I'm thinking about having this gathering. It's probably going to be somewhere between 50 and 300 of us. And I said, all right, well, you know, are you going to have music? No, we're not going to have music. All right, are you going to stop traffic? No, we're not going to stop traffic. <laughs> then you don't really need to do anything but the NYPD requests that you call in and you talk to them about it. Call? So what do you mean call? Like literally they gave me a precinct phone number call and them. they said police radio. Like radio. right, not, not from the walk. Right, not from the walk. Oh, no, okay. no, no, this was all Hey, we're down yeah. here at the walk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen guys, why don't you come pick up call the drink? Come down to the corner of the <laughs> Yeah, no, so I, I called in and I had to go take my picture. That was kind of weird. It was like a mugshot, but I didn't do anything wrong. So. But they're gonna save that shit, probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah totally. Who knows? <laughs> okay, so no and you saw it on Craigslist? How'd you find yes, out? Yes, I about seen it? it on Craigslist. Okay, and yeah. that's all you need to know. And, and you're breaking out the bikini email. and the latex. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, on any day to dress up. You have an excuse? Why not? Absolutely, that's a good day. How many crazies were hitting on you down there? Uh, I lost count. Oh. I truly did. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, nothing personal. I, okay, but. The, body in the bikini, that's rocking, but you know, you get up to the face of what you've done to yourself, <laughs> it's a little terrifying. I just said butter. It's fabulous. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know? that's, 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 I mean, this is the something. foreheads coming out. That yeah. was that movie, what was that movie we saw with, uh, where the whole premise was that guys will bang anything? I can't remember the name, it was Steve. College Steven. years. Oh, Jennifer. <laughs> there was this movie called Jennifer, and the premise was basically this girl in a screaming bod, but her face was like, but her it was a, was a mess. And this guy couldn't stop. He still had to go and do it. You know what I mean? And turn around, you know? <laughs> and it's, you have to do it. So, I mean, guys, you know, they see the bod, they go, I don't care what's going on. I'm going for this, you know? Maybe she has nice feet. I don't yeah, know. yeah, it's just, it's any excuse. So, Obviously, you guys don't care. Because no, I've been getting people giving me their numbers left and right and going, oh, what you doing after this? <laughs> yeah. That's so, no, out. The body's rocking. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll deal with anything. I go to church and hang out and pray a little bit, uh, you know. Now, you've done this before? I didn't organize the last one I went to. I just attended one three years ago. Where was it? Union Square, same place. Oh, same place, okay. Dawn of the Dead. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, cool. And uh, so, so now, so you let the police know, did they show up? Well, I kind of told them I was doing it in Times Square. Oh. <laughs> You know, I just, I didn't want to take it. You know, I can't get arrested. I got too much stuff. There's a bunch of cops up there <laughs> gathering a bunch of people. <laughs> How about you, nice. Zombies? Stop wondering. You're not fooling anyone. Take off that latex. Um, but, That's smart, dude. Well, yeah, I, I kind of got scared last minute. I was like, oh, man, there's going to be a whole bunch of cops there, and the, then the rage zombies are going to get into fights with the cops, and I don't want to risk it. Yeah, the rage zombies, they, they, they cause a problem. Yeah, they were spitting yeah. blood everywhere, fighting with the thuggy people, jumping on vans. There, there was a guy, like, hanging off of a van. I mean, it was really right out of the movie. Well, what do you think of the rage zombies? Do you like it? you like the, uh, yeah, I, the new blood? It's a welcome change. You know, you, know, you can only do so much with, with, a, with an adversary that can only move, like, 1.2 miles an hour. Yes. So, 
It's a good spin. Use, use a radar gun on that. <laughs> <laughs> Megaly, what do you think of the, of the rage zombies? I think it's a good change for towards the traditional zombies. And do you go rage or do you go uh, lumbering? What's your thing? If I have to go rage, I have no problem. Wait. The like, the, like the bus scene. At first, we all went, went charging towards the bus, but then it got a little out of hand, and then that's when I was, uh, I don't You guys I charged the bus? Was, was, oh, yeah, tour buses. You know those big, red, big Apple tour buses? Oh, those yeah. Those people love us. Wait a minute. I, I, don't, I need something. I the need... The two levels with the people, on, all the tourists on top. Yeah, exactly. That's so Dr. Awesome. Becca, I'm putting you on the spot. Can you come in here? Yeah, I, I need that. I see you guys were in it. I need something from somebody who was on the outside, outside. you know, I mean... Oh, she was on the just Observation. Side, you know, but, but okay. Uh, just grab a mic. This is Dr. Becca. She's one of our... I don't know what you don't show what your terminology is here. You're an assistant or whatever. I'm a researcher, a pretty researcher. much. I do a, pretty much everything here. You were down there. Yes. What was... What did you observe? It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. It did. It was segregated zombies where you had the rage zombies and the lumbering zombies. And the rage zombies were everywhere all at one time. Falling over each other, falling over the stairs, passing out, getting back up, running into garbage <laughs> cans. One of them tried to bite me, and I actually have blood on my arm. It's not real blood, but I mean, it was an experience with them. And when they went for the bus, was it insane? It was sporadic, is the best way to describe it, where a bus pulled up to the stoplight, and everybody just turned and looked. And I mean, there are, you know, 50 zombies sitting in Union Square, so the tourists start snapping pictures. And as soon as the flashes started, the rage zombies just darted. <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking just like towards the bus. I'm talking like running, jump, slapping the windows of the bus. So um, we gotta was, encourage this. Last time we should sponsor the It was insane, and because we were there handing out stuff for serious and Bangoria, we were getting a lot of attention too. And the rage zombies were attacking us. And, one guy kept asking if he could bite me, which was just bizarre. Well, that guy, it was another guy. Who kept asking to bite my neck? Who wasn't even a zombie? Like he just showed up there, wasn't even sure what we were doing, and Man, just kept asking me. It was, it was. <laughs> well, said, guys, thank you for coming down, uh, Vince, Kalora, and Miguelli. Uh, thanks for coming down, and uh, it sounded like fun. We got to do something. We got to get involved with that. I'm looking at my producer. I mean, next time there's, you know, like a zombie movie comes out, we should like formally organize. We'll work I'm with down. you, Vince. I'm down. We we'll get down. Fangoria to, you know couple up there. Cause that could be insane. That's cool. You win, Jose, Fuck yeah, you we'll just do some a band be playing yeah. right there all ghetto style. Nice. Yeah, we know we got your number. <laughs> okay, okay. You guys can just hang or get up or whatever because I just have to say thank you to Jose Mangan for being my co-host. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Jose. Fuck yeah, and, uh, come on. Yeah, it's an honor, brother. On uh, Sirius Channel 20 and 27. Okay, because you got Octane, you got Heart Attack. I mean, this guy knows metal. Say more!